It's about 8 o'clock in the morning here on Saturday, August 24th, 2024. It's a humid day. It's about 80 degrees, 80% humidity. Um, and I'm moving the cows to a new row. Uh, this is the third day they've been in the row, so it's time to move them. They uh, did a pretty good job of uh, munching on the eastern half. Um, over here on the, the western half, there's not a lot of grass. So they did a pretty good job moving. And uh, when I left, or when I checked that area this morning, I was like, you know what, they ate a good amount. There's quite a bit left, but if they go any further, I'm worried they might damage the grass. Um, although honestly, I'm not really concerned about uh, regrowth. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of regrowth for the rest of the year. So um, the temperatures are gonna cool off and uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of rain um, in the autumn but it just the grass doesn't grow in the autumn even under ideal conditions here in northeast texas um, we get a little bit of cool season growth but it's nothing to write home about so i'm not really concerned about the regrowth uh, for this year at least but next year i assume that those plants will uh, go into a dormant stage uh, it looks like they're dead when they're dormant, but they're not dead. And um, so those summer grasses uh, will come back with even more vigor next year uh, in the summertime. And I'm hoping that, um, uh, like this year, the summer grass gets an early start. We get some early warm days. Not hot days, but some early warm days uh, to get that grass a good boost here. Boy, Mr. Ram has some problems with his hooves. Let's check him out. But he's not doing well. I can tell because his head is bobbing. So, my goodness, that calf is fat. Look at the folds of fat under that calf's neck. That's a nice looking calf. Number 34 there. My goodness. And he's still trying to nurse on his mother. Is that a male or female? I can't tell. I think it's a female. It's a heifer. Oh, she might get some good money at the sale barn, hopefully. Yeah. The question now is when do I sell the calves? Um, I could pretty much any day of the week take them to the sale barn. Um, um, I don't think I'll do the net bio thing. It's just too much work to load them all up, take them there and bring them back. It just, it's probably not worth it for me uh, and the amount of revenue I get for the sale. I'll just take them to a regular sale barn. I think they'll be worth plenty. Um, so next time these, these critters uh, get wheels under them, they're going to be going to the sale barn. I think I'm going to keep um, most of the cows. Uh, there's two that I have my eye on to let go. Um, uh, number 20, young 20, because she's not going to give me a calf next year. And um, number 24, because she's just skinny. She's always skinny. So I'll get rid of those two. I don't think there's any others I really want to get rid of. Um, and, you know, originally the plan was to reduce the number of cows, make room for sheep. Um, but I just don't see a need for that. I really feel like I'm understocked by a lot. And we could really run a lot more cows this year um, and a lot more sheep and have the same amount of grass. So. Anyway, the cows are moved. They all moved themselves. I just opened up the fence and let them go. I'm going to move the minerals and I'm going to move the, uh, the water. So I'll probably just do that by hand, get a good workout. And then we'll be, uh, we'll be set up in this new row. And uh, that'll be it for the morning tours. Guys, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.